What's up, Scorpio? It's Sid from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your February 2022 financial reading. Now, Scorpio, if you all are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you hit that like button to put some respect on the al algorithm. It helps YouTube know that you like this kind of content. If you are not new here, welcome back, and thank you for all your support thus far. I have no idea, y'all. <laughs> No idea what has happened to your original video, so I'm definitely re-recording, and that's why you're getting this angle. Um, sorry about that, but I had to get you your reading. All right, if you all are interested in joining my Patreon or following me on any of my other social media, all that information is in the description box below, as you know, but let's go ahead and get into your reading. All right, so what is the overall energy of this reading for Scorpio? Okay, fair enough. All right, the overall energy is the temperance card. All right, now the temperance energy is all about patience, all about balance, all about keeping even moods, even emotions, um, not getting overwhelmed, not um, becoming stagnant, but also not doing too much. So it's all about balance, okay, and healing as well. All right, so it's interesting that that card comes up. Because it seems like in the original reading that I did for you all, um, the energy was similar. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Daughter of Wands. That's your inspiration, your fuel, your spark of inspiration or ideas. Um, and it felt in the previous reading, it seemed like um, whatever this is that you were working on financially was being fueled by some type of hurt or pain um, that you were going through emotionally. So let's see if that's the message that continues here. But for some of you all, maybe you just needed to hear that about the previous reading. Okay, so let's get into the root of your situation, Scorpio. What is the root of Scorpio's finances? Mm, okay. And what is it that Scorpio needs to do right now? Mm. What is it that Scorpio needs to do right now? Interesting. Um, and what obstacles is Scorpio facing at this time? And where can Scorpio find help? So it does look like a similar message is coming out for you, Scorpio. It does appear that way. So at the root cause of your financial situation is because in your in some type of partnership, some type of union that you were in, you found that you were um, discontent, unhappy. Um, this could be a relationship situation where there was a third party. Um, and I guess maybe finding out about the third party made it so that um, you had to focus on, on your finances in order to remove yourself from that situation. Clarify the Four of Cups. Okay. Um, yeah. The things that are hidden with the moon, secrets, um, things that we keep below the surface, our emotions that we're not dealing with, um, and the hanged man, surrender, release. It seems like your emotion, your emotional state is affecting your finances. And um, for some of you, it's like retail therapy. For some of you, it's like retail therapy. So in this reading, it's not affecting your finances as positively as it was in the initial reading that I had. So I feel like for some of you all, um, whatever this pain is, whatever this hurt is, the way that you are releasing emotion or like getting through it is by like shopping, buying any and everything to make yourself feel good. For others of you, you all are using it as fuel to fuel like projects that you may be working on with others. Um, but either way, it seems like you're using it as a way to deal with your emotions. 
So some of you all are using it to create money. Some of you all are using it to blow money. All right. So what is it that you need to do? Immediately, we have the Seven of Wands with the Two of Cups. So the Seven of Wands energy is protecting yourself, defending yourself. Um, and then with the Two of Cups, it's like you're defending yourself against a couple or defending yourself against entering into certain partnerships. That's weird. Do y'all see how it looks like she's like fighting the couple? Like she's finna just boot this girl in the back of the head. Um, some of you all, there's actually a couple that you're fighting against or protecting yourself against. For others of you all, you are needing to, like, keep yourself out of certain partnerships, romantic or, like, financial, um, so that you can protect what is yours. Because there may be someone who wants to enter into a, a partnership with you just to um, just to use your resources or have um, access to your resources. Clarify. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so for some of you, this is like so many different stories, okay? Um, for some of you, you all are defending yourself against... Um, a bitch, Queen of Swords reverse, in a partnership. You're needing to, like, so, like, if this is a divorce and there was a third party situation, the person that you're moving on from is still trying to take everything that you have or things that you've earned, even if they had nothing to do with it. Like, this person wants to hurt you by taking something that you've created. Um, if this is like a business, this person wants to take like half the business from you. So you're really needing to, to protect yourself adamantly against that person. For others of you, you are this queen of swords in reverse. And this is how fiercely you're protecting yourself against um, people who may want to, you know, be a couple with you. Like, there may be gold diggers around trying to take what's yours. And this is how adamantly you are about protecting what you've earned. Okay? Your obstacle <laughs> is for sure. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in Reverse. People that are trying to take from you. Okay? But you can see through the deception. That doesn't mean that it's not an obstacle. That doesn't mean that it's um, not hard for you to deal with. But there's definitely someone trying to take from you. And you can see through them. You can see the deception. Clarify. Hi, priestess. Come on, intuition. Your intuition's telling you all of this. They're like, uh-uh. Don't, don't involve yourself with that person. Don't involve yourself with that one. Don't involve yourself with that one. That person's trying to take. That person's trying to use you. That person's trying to take advantage of you. Like your intuition is going ham. Telling you everything that you need to know about these situations that are happening around you. Um, Where you're going to find help. We have the Eight of Swords with the Two of Swords. I want to clarify what it is. Is it looks like... There are um, things that you're not seeing. There's things that you are not seeing that are preventing you from having a financial new beginning or having certain financial opportunities. Some of these things um, for you, Scorpio, are not obstacles to you. This is what you're doing to yourself. You're refusing to make certain decisions that need to be made. You're refusing to cut off um, certain people who may be hanging around you. Some of those gold diggers, some of those cloud chasers um, may not be someone trying to advance towards you romantically, but this could be people seeing that you're growing and flourishing or doing your own thing, creating your business and trying to attach to you. And... 
though your intuition has been warning you against certain people, um, there may be one or two that's made it through the cracks because you don't want to see uh, these people for who they are. You want to, to be optimistic and hope that they have your best interest in heart. But that's not the case. And if you will remove these blindfolds, you will be able to see. Some of these people are obvious, and, and so you don't even let them get close. But some of these people are people who are already close to you. So you don't even question their loyalty. Part of the reason you're not being able to grow financially is because you're allowing these people to hold on to you. All right. You're doing this to yourself because your intuition is not not telling you. You are ignoring it when it comes to certain people. OK, so you do need to make some head over heart decisions if you want to have a new beginning. Otherwise, this 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 pinnacle won't be offered to you. This pinnacle won't be created. OK, so let's go ahead and get a Moonology message for you. Moonology for Scorpio. This is why the temperance is necessary. This is why this balance is necessary for you. Okay, the first one we got is meditate and contemplate. Yes, through meditation, you may receive messages, stronger messages than you've been receiving in your waking life about what's what and who's who. Okay, so definitely this is another card of balance, just like temperance. Um, I'm kind of feeling like you're needing to slow down um, and take a, ramp, take a look around. Like what's happening around you, Scorpio? And then also you're very close to achieving your goal. So once again, that's why it's necessary to maintain your balance and open your eyes to what's actually happened around you because you have been working very hard towards something and you're very close to it and people know it and they feel it and they smell it and they want to be a part of it or at least try to benefit from it in some way, shape or form. This is why you have to open those eyes, even to people that you don't even think would, you know, be trying to take advantage of you. Your, what you're needing to do immediately is defend yourself, protect yourself, put up some boundaries. Okay. So let's get some rebel messages for you as well, Scorpio. Rebel, rebel, talk nice and don't. I don't care, but please tell Scorpio what they need to hear. Hmm. The first card says, be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. All right, so showing some gratitude this week to the universe for the current situation that you find yourself in, for the things that you do have, the things that you have earned, the progress that you have made. Tell the universe, you know, you're grateful for it. Show the universe, do some gratitude uh, rituals. All right. Um, the next card you have is, it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours, love bug. You're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. There's a necessity for you to take accountability for your current situation right now. Okay. Do not become a victim. Do not, um, do not blame others. Even if the behavior of others was trash and contributed to your situation, you have to take accountability for who you allowed in your life and what you allowed them to do while they were there. Okay. So let's go ahead and get your advice. Advice is too many. Advice for Scorpio. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, Adam and me. <laughs> they are serious about. Excuse me. They are serious about you protecting yourself from certain situations. So your advice is the three of cups with the two of, I'm sorry, with the seven of wands again. Protecting yourself from, um, this is the, the three of cups representing three hearts, you know, another collaboration is possible, community. Um, but in the reverse, this is like fake ass friends. This is uh, backstabbers. This is cloud chasers. People who want to hang around with you and celebrate with you, but talk behind your back. You're really needing to protect yourself from people like this right now. 
that's crazy that this message keeps coming out to you. Um, and that, and this was not the message of the original reading. So I feel like, um, that, that reading needed to go wherever it went so that you can get this message. All right. Protect yourself from these fake ass people because these people are trying to take from you, put you in a situation where you have lack, where you have less than, where you are losing. Some of the people that are smiling in your face do not want to see you win. The bottom of the deck energy is the lover's card. Okay. Putting yourself in alignment with people who share your values, your principles, who have common goals. All right. Soulmates. Not no karmic people, not people who are here to use you up. All right, Scorpio? So this reading is definitely a warning for you um, to protect what you're building and to watch you keep close to you because not everyone is here to support you. They're either here to literally take from you, whether that be um, financially, like take your money, take your ideas, things like that, or... They're just here to disrupt what you're trying to do because they're fake. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you grow beyond them. Okay? So this is your reading, Scorpio. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, subscribe. And if you all would like to join my Patreon, the link is in the description box below. A lot of perks there. Um, just go take a look. But um, yeah, this is your reading. And until the next time I read for you all, I wish you all love and light and everything right. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.